It is that time of the year again. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and it's time for my week one preview. Eagles face the Cleveland Browns. And yeah, I don't know much about the Browns because, well, they haven't been relevant lately. So last season, all us Eagles fans were super hyped about the new talent we acquired. And yeah, we were confident in expecting big things. And one thing that I've learned from watching my birds over the years is that I can never be too confident because they always find a way to surprise me. Like losing to the Cardinals last season when they were starting their second string quarterback. John Skelton, second string quarterback, outplayed Michael Vick. Are you kidding me? And with three, count them, three million dollar quarterbacks we can't find a way to cover Larry Fitzgerald. And then going eight and eight and missing the playoff. Yeah, nobody saw that coming. With that said, I'm going into this season a little bit nervous, but that's a good thing. I know we have the talent to dominate, but we're off to a good start going 4-0 this preseason. The last time we did that was back in 1995. Another thing to note, and yeah, it's preseason, take it for what it is, but Overall in the league, the Eagles dominated in defensive stats. For example, we led the league with 20 sacks, which isn't surprising because our defensive line is stacked. And that was without Jason Babin. He's going to be back starting week one, coming off a calf injury, and that's just going to amp up our defense even more. So we arguably have the best running back in the league right now, so I'm hoping we put that to good use this season. Well folks, this is it. And Jeff Lurie has publicly stated that Andy Reid's job is on the line this season. We're going Super Bowl or bust. Oh man, Eagles fans have been saying this all season for the past decade almost. Well, this is no news, but this time it's official. But it's a good sign we went 4-0 this preseason. Yeah, it's preseason and doesn't really count, but it's better than losing. So I'm just going to take it for what it is as a good sign for great things to come from my Eagles. And luckily, we get to start our season off against the Browns. Yeah, I'm not going to say it's a gimme because I've said before that Eagles like to surprise us for some ridiculous reason. But what I'll say is that if the Eagles start a little shaky, this is the team I want them to be playing. The Eagles recently acquired former Brown safety David Sims, and as Howie Roseman puts it, to add an extra jolt to our defense. An interesting note about David Sims, when he played our Eagles during this preseason as a Brown, he had an interception that ended up getting overturned because of a penalty, but that's the type of thing that I want to see, a playmaker, and I'm hoping he can add that security at that safety position. And coincidentally, his first game as an Eagle will be against his former team, the Browns. Another thing to note about the Eagles going into Cleveland is that there are going to be a lot of familiar faces of people that are very familiar with the Eagles organization. Not only are there going to be familiar players on the field, but also their head coach, Pat Shermer, was a former quarterbacks coach for the Eagles back in the day and also worked with Steve Spagnolo, who used to work with the Eagles. So those are just some connections there where people might be familiar with our schemes, but he's a rookie coach, so we don't know what we're gonna get and not everybody can be a Jim Harbaugh. All right guys, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I just wanna watch some football already, so I'll leave you with my predictions. I see the Eagles starting out week one 1-0 with a win over Cleveland. They're going to finish within the division 6-0 by dominating the NFC East. And no, I'm not crazy. Remember, last season we went 5-1, so one game difference isn't that crazy. And then we're going to finish the season overall, I'd say 13-3, but to be a little conservative, I'll go 12-4. But like I've said to a lot of you during this offseason, this season and our success is gonna come down to the play calling and the coaches. We have all the players, 
yeah, we may have some gaps here and there, but overall, on paper, we have what we need to win a Super Bowl. Now, will the coaches be able to use the players effectively to get those wins, to get into the playoffs, and to win a Super Bowl? That, I don't know, we'll see. Andy Reid and Juan Castillo are playing for their jobs this season, so I'm hoping they step it up. So that's it for the preview week one, but stay tuned. I'll be doing my post game after the Eagles win. I'm gonna continue doing videos this entire season, pregame and postgame analysis. You guys know the drill. This is Delia with the PhiladeliaEagles.com signing off. E-A-G-L-E-S Eagles!